Hi everyone, it's the English Slimmer here, and welcome back to the Younguns. So it has been forever and a day since I recorded the Younguns, and that's because I really haven't had a chance just to sit and play The Sims and get to a point where I wanted to record Younguns, but I did manage that this afternoon. I just sat down, I created not a storyline really, but I created a new sim and her and Jared have been dating. They are actually going steady currently. So Jared has a new girl in his life. She is adorable. I'm not going to tell you anything about her because I am planning on asking her on a date a little bit later on. But in this part, I kind of want to have a boys day. So Jared hasn't seen Nathan in a while. So what I want to do is maybe go to the gym, work out a little bit with our son, because Jared's really into his fitness. And I think that's like something that could be done together as like a father son kind of thing. And also then I want to go to a bar or something. If Nathan has work, we'll ask Marisol as well. Obviously she is our daughter from a previous relationship. So so Jared has two kids, um, both with different women, so I kind of want them all to spend the day together. It is a Saturday, Jared's just about to get something to eat, and then he needs to take the day off work. Um, obviously he lives with his bros, Alexi, Joey, and Silas, and they're all in the athletic career along with Jared. They're all doing really, really well. Um, I know we haven't played as the boys for a while, but they're still good friends with everyone. Um, Silas actually is awkward friends with Eliza, which is weird, but they are co-workers, so that must be how they know each other. Obviously, he had a little thing with Harvey, but that was literally a flirtation, and Harvey was like, lol, no. Um, so yeah, Harvey and him is weird, and obviously in the past we have had a relationship with Hayley, but... Haley literally feels nothing for Silas, um, but he apparently still has like a little crush on her. Alexi does not have any romances. He's just friends with everyone. Obviously, his sister Nina. Um, they're like best friends, which is really cute. And Joey, obviously, he had a little thing with Haley as well. But Haley currently has a girlfriend, so there's no hardship between those two. Um, but they just haven't spoken in a while. But there's no hard feelings there or anything like that. Right, Jared, you need to take a vacation day from the athlete career for me. Uh, can you do that? And then we're gonna try and hang out with our son. So where is Nathan? We're gonna um, invite him to hang out at our current lot and then we'll go to the gym once he's here. I just wanna make sure that he's free, but I think he will be. I don't think he works until like 5 p.m. Um, so hopefully, yeah, he's free. Here he is, we're gonna invite him in. Um, and then we're just inviting him in so that we can travel with him, to be honest. But yeah, everyone's doing really well. Jared's relationships. He actually... This is a weird one. So, um... A couple of you commented this. I can't remember what part it was in. It was Kai's birthday and him and Scarlett were like flirting with each other. And I totally didn't see it, but it was on screen because I got a ton of comments from you guys like oh my god Jared and Scarlett so I actually cheated this a little bit because I didn't want them to have any flirtation because Scarlett although she is a flirt I feel as if she's very dedicated to Harvey so I kind of didn't want that so I just cheated that down a bit so they're back to being um just friends him and Chloe obviously have like the most ridiculous relationship ever but you know what they're all good they're pretty good friends on Chloe's part anyway on his part they're still pretty good friends um but we're gonna hit um, to travel with our son. We're gonna have like a day at the gym. Um, we could go to like the spa, but I kind of just want to go to a gym if we still have one in this game. Uh, I might have got rid of them all. This is orcs if I have got rid of- oh no, there's one here. So there is actually a better gym that I use in my get together let's play. Do I want to go to the gym or do I want to go to the pool? 
I think we're gonna go to the pool actually. This was my thought. I will wake not Newcrest. What am I doing? I want to go to Windenburg. So we're going to Windenburg and we will go visit. This is actually a girl that I added in for him, but I didn't want her. Um so she's just a random person. But yeah, we're gonna go to the Bathdoril and we're gonna travel with Marisol because she's our daughter, so I kind of want to spend the day with her as well, and Nathan, so we'll go hang by the pool, um, there's not much to do here, but, like, we can play by the pool for a bit, do some diving, like, just hang with the kids, have a catch-up, and then we'll probably go to a bar, and we'll play some games, and then we'll invite over his new girlfriend, so that we can introduce her to the um the kids if they stay which i'm hoping they will right you can get changed into your swimwear and um can we like say hey to her we're gonna brighten her day we're gonna hook her as well um so marisol get here Ooh, and Luna's here. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh, we can't control Nathan. I was like, damn, I want to, like, flirt with Luna. Because him and her are quite friendly with each other. But we can't play as Nathan, which is kind of irritating. But here we go. Um, We're going to... Uh, what else should we do? What are we doing currently? I think we're brightening her day. But we're, like, heading over this way to do it. Nathan should head over this way, too. <laughs> Um, and let's hook her, because we haven't seen her in ages, and we'll brighten her day again. I think we just did that, but we'll do it again. We're going to jump into the pool. We're going to do... Oh. Hey, Jared. Whoa, Chloe, what are you doing? Hey, Jared, we'd love for to have you join the avant-garde. No, thanks. Like, no backlash on you, Chloe, but that really isn't Jared's type of club. Uh, we're going to do a swan dive into the pool. He is very athletic, so I'm guessing he should be good at this. Nathan's having a swim. Nathan's already in there. Um, so here we go. See how perfect that swan dive was? He just like almost dove right into Nathan. We're gonna splash him and what else should we do? We're gonna gossip about video game pros. I don't know. Let the boys be boys. You're gonna get jumped on by Marisol. Marisol is about to backflip on you and it's not gonna go. Oh, she just missed you, Jared. I literally just missed you. Um, we're gonna also enthuse about her interests. So yeah, I just want to spend a day catching up with the kids. I think it's really cute. Um, we're gonna splash her a bit. Oh, he's like stuck. Can you all like move around? Like she's like just in front of you. I think she's moving. What are they laughing at? What did he just do? Did he just like fart? I saw a little bit of green, but I don't know. I don't know what that was. Um, let's ask her about her day. Oh, oh, there we go. He splashed her. Look how cute this is. The fam just catching up. Oh, this is so cute. We never really, like, hang out with the kids too much. Especially not as Jared. Like, I don't play as Jared too much. I just want to get a screenshot of them having, like, a grand old time together. This is so cute. So, yeah, I never really play as Jared, but I do miss him. Like, he was such a big part of the Let's Play for, like, the first half. And then, obviously, all the drama happened. Um, I want to try and splash someone and get a screenshot of it, but I don't think it's going to work. Actually, no, because then that will get Marisol out of the conversation. We're going to tell a joke about monkeys. We're going to joke about fashion and... We're going to express our admiration to our kids because we are proud of them. Like, th he's got a job. She's probably doing really well in school because it's Marisol. She might have a job. I don't know if I gave her one or not. But yeah, I just feel like, you know what? Even though their dad hasn't been around too much, he has still had an input. Like, he's still been around. But they both live with their mums. And they just turned out to be really, really good kids. They have a great relationship with each other. Like, they're best friends. They're in the same club. They have the same mutual friends. I just think it's really sweet that we got such good kids out of, like, pretty negative relationships. But 
well not negative but you know not the best you know it's not a solid foundation for a child but i still feel that we got a good we got a good lot we got a good bunch that's what i'm trying to say good crop of kids <laughs> just our crop these are just our crop <laughs> oh yes we just became good friends with marisol as well that's good where's nathan going um Oh, he's having a dance. He's jamming. What are you jamming to? Oh, this speaker right here. Nice. Nice. He's dancing to Alternative. So cool. Such a badass. <laughs> he's really not a badass. He just likes to entertain people, I think. Aww. Everyone's having a good old time. Let's uh, swim some laps, though. Let's actually swim some laps now. We've, like, spent a good solid time talking to each other i don't know what marisol's doing oh she's taking us oh i thought she was gonna take a selfie by the pool so yeah everyone's just having a good time like this is adorable my voice is probably getting squeakier and squeakier <laughs> this is what happens when like i find something cute like my voice just gets really squeaky and i just i just want to like squeal out loud and just oh it's so cute i don't even know why i'm loving it so much you are swimming really oddly why are you swimming like that okay there we go he changed it a little bit like what is this new stroke that they have maybe i'm just looking at that arms funny um but yeah it's like 12 p.m so we've still got time to just hang by the pool a little bit more uh we're actually gonna um, i was gonna make a drink but i can't really be bothered is there anything down here Nah, just toilets which we do not need currently um let's get back to talking to them let's tell him an inside joke where's marisol oh she's over this end she's on the deep end she's like the boys are wusses like i'm gonna um go into the deep end it's not really a deep end like there aren't any slopes um let's discuss interests with him just to catch up with him a little bit um and work for the boys start soon but we took the day off. <gasps> give the woohoo talk yes we need to do this to marisol as well <laughs> Nathan's like, really, Dad? In a pool? Nathan's like, ew, Dad. <laughs> That's so funny. He was about to cheer. Oh, this old dude was getting a cheer. Uh, we need to go give the woohoo talk to Marisol as well because we know she has a boyfriend. We've met him. Um, so let's go and do this. Um... Oh, look, he's feeling embarrassed. Awkward encounter from giving the woohoo talk. <gasps> That's funny. Oh, man. Um, oh, yeah, there it is. Where is it gone? Uh, give the woohoo talk. Here we go. We've got to do it, kids. I'm sorry, but you have to be given the woohoo talk. Go on. Go give it to Marisol. Oh, go give it to Marisol. Uh, where did it go? Give the woohoo talk. Off you go, Jared. Go be a good dad. Uh -huh. Oh, you're not doing it? She's stuck. What's happening? What is happening? Maybe I need to cancel out of that. Oh, I think they're watching this person. Wait, what is going on with my game? I think it's frozen. Go on. Go do it now. There we go. Okay, yeah. My game was just frozen. <laughs> it just was being a little bit silly. So here we go. Oh. Nahara says so. Yeah. She's like, uh, Dad, um, I kind of already know this. Like, you don't have to tell me. This is just awkward. <laughs> they both pulled really awkward faces. Her and Nathan. That's so adorable. Right. I think we're going to travel now. We're going to go to a bar so we can grab some food and, um, yeah, just keep on hanging out with the kids but we'll kind of invite the new girlfriend over hopefully she's finished work but i doubt it she might not be able to come till later and the kids might have gone home by that point but if they have then it'll just be like a date so i'm gonna travel and i'll be back with you guys in a second all right guys so i am back and we have traveled to the shrieking llama and we're just gonna quickly grab a drink we're gonna actually we're gonna order some food for everyone 
Um, we're going to go for some pitta and hummus. Obviously, Jared is very health conscious, so he's going to go for something a little bit healthier. It's not the healthiest, but you know what? It's like the, one of the healthier ones on the menu. So, uh, yeah, he's just going to order that. And, um, yeah, everyone's just kind of grabbing a thing. Marisol's got one. Nathan, are you going to grab one? Jared, can you sit down here, though? Can you, like, sit there? Thanks. Don't chat with her. I want you to go sit with your daughter. There we go. That's what I like to see him him and her. Just sat, having a good old time. We're going to talk about cooking. I don't know why. We're going to give her an inside joke. Just, like, catch up and stuff. We've been doing this all day, but um, I kind of just want to catch up a bit more. Oh, my goodness. This woman is very flirty. And why is everyone very flirty? Do you have the romance channel on? Of course. Of course we have the, uh, the romance channel. <laughs> That's so funny. Everyone's feeling super flirty thanks to the TV. This is weird. I don't think I like um, chilling with our teenage daughter when she's feeling flirty. This feels weird. I don't feel as if we should be seeing her in that mood. <laughs> what else should we do? Lecture about responsibilities. Being a good father. That's what we're going to do. Oh, are you off? You going, Nathan? You a bit tired? You going to bed, mate? Okay. 3 p.m. on a Saturday afternoon. Life of a teenager, right? <laughs> so yeah, Nathan's gone, which is kind of irritating because um, I would quite like him to meet our girlfriend. Is Marisol off as well? Are you going to say bye now? Yeah, No? Okay. Um, that's cool. So we're going to um, actually ask this woman now. I say this woman. She is our girlfriend. She's called Hazel. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory to Hazel. Actually, I'm going to invite her here and then I'll let you guys see her and then I'll give her a little bit of a backstory. Um, he's going to invite her now. Hopefully she's not working. Come on, Haze. Haze. Hazel Lawson, we'll be right over. Okay, here she is. So this stunner is Hazel right here. This is her. She's so, so cute. I love her as a sim. But yeah, this is Hazel and... Um, oh, she has hazel eyes and she's called Hazel. I didn't even know. I just randomized her name. <laughs> but she's called Hazel Lawson. This is her and basically to give you guys a little bit of info on who she is is so hazel works as a doctor she's like level eight or something crazy in doctor career she's a genius um i don't know if he knows all of her traits okay so she's good she's a genius and i can't remember what her third trait is oh um cheerful so she's kind of like a really happy-go-lucky girl she's a doctor and her and jared met because he had an injury so he obviously went to the doctors and she was there she was only a nurse at the time but she's gone through some promotions so she was helping out with Jared you know like looking after him and they kind of hit it off and then once he wasn't a patient anymore he was like yo I really he didn't say yo because smooth af um but yeah he didn't say that but he was like oh like I've really enjoyed spending time with you over the like time that I've been in the hospital can we hang out some more and they are now going steady so this is our girlfriend she's adorable I really think that they suit each other oh Marisol's gone gosh darn it kids where are my kids going right when our freaking girlfriend gets here right we should probably go say hey um so we are going to go and kiss her cheek just to say hi to her come on jared are you gonna stand up or are you just gonna stay there oh he's still eating okay I'm going to let him finish that. Hey, Leighton. Our dad just arrived. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let him finish this first off. There we go. He's finished it. So we're going to go say hey to her. Um, and we should probably try and invite the kids back out. Oh, look at how cute they are, though. Look at them. I seriously love her. She's like 
I think she's one of my favorite Sims I've ever created, but I say this about everyone. Um, she's just adorable though. She is so, so sweet and they get on really, really well together. Um, so yeah, I really, really love them. But I'm going to see if we can invite our kids um, back around because I do kind of want them to hit it off. Um, right, where is Nathan? Nathan's here. We're gonna invite him and then we're gonna invite Marisol just because I do want them to get to know, like, they can all, like, play foosball together. How cute would that be? So, come on, kids. Don't leave your father hanging. Right. We're gonna see if this will work. Come on. Bring them. Nathan will be right over. No, you're not going. No. No. Stay here. Has to hang out. Dude, stay. Okay, Marisol will be right over too. Okay, that's good. Leighton, go away. I don't want to talk to you. Please hang out. You gonna stay? Okay, I can hang out for a bit. Okay, good. Um, Nathan's here. Is Marisol? Has she arrived? Nope. Oh yeah, she has just now. Right, that means that we are going to play with Marisol, Hazel, and Nathan. Sorry, Grandad, but you're out of this one. So let's go play together. Here we go. Who's going to be on whose side? Ooh, I wonder who's going to win. So it's boys v girls. So here we go. We got this. We got this. Let's do it. Oh, she's taking a selfie. The girls are really into it. Oh, she's already like swearing. <laughs> she's like, they already scored. I feel as if this is a bit unfair because he is so sporty and is probably like really, really good at this. They probably have one in their house. And he's, I think, has one. So he's got practice. The girls are just like, we aren't sporty at all. Like we don't even know the rules of soccer or football. Oh, man, this is funny. She's really not happy. She's like, how are we losing? <laughs> this is so cute. She's going to be in such a bad mood if she loses. I feel as if being a doctor, she's probably like super, super competitive, which is why I think um, like they get on so well because they are both quite competitive. Oh, Nathan's gone. Nathan just vanished. Oh, he's going home. He's like, peace. Deuces! He's off. <laughs> Don't know where he's going, but that's cool. Jared, he's left Jared to play alone. Jared's going stag against the girls. If he loses... Oh! Oh! He's really not happy. He's like using expletives. Oh, the girls are bonding! This is so cute! This is like family time. Oh my god, guys. I can't get over how adorable this is. I'm so glad that I recorded Jungians today. Although this took a while to set up, I feel as if it was so worth it because it's just making me excited for the Jungians again. Like, these two are adorable. So I probably will be playing Jared a little bit more. I can really see him settling down with her. Not just yet, obviously, because they haven't been, like, girlfriend and boyfriend for that long. But, um... Yeah, I can really see them, like, settling down. Like, look at how into it. Look at that! The girls are, like, fist bumping. Okay, we should stop. Um, how have we not, like, finished? No, don't go! No, you're not going. We're gonna ask you to hang out. No, you're not going. You're not going. We're gonna chill with you. Please hang out with us, Hazel. She's like, oh! do I want to? She's saying she can hang out for a bit. Okay, let's get a little bit romantic then. The kids have gone, so we're gonna embrace her. And yeah, let's start to get the romance up a little bit. Caress the cheek. Oh, he's feeling, he has stale surroundings. Don't worry, dude. I'll uh, buy you some new things. Uh, we're also going to um, kiss her. <laughs> and I'm gonna actually invite her to stay the night so that she can like hang out with us more. Uh, we did kiss her, which is good. And we're going to sweet talk her a little bit. Let's go buy a drink for her. Let's see if we can do this. Um, order a drink for, and it's obviously gonna be for Hazel. So here we go. Uh, Go on, Jared. Go uh, order a drink for her. <gasps> She's talking about moving in. Girl, like, we like you, but you need to, like, 
chill out a little bit. She does look a little bit like Chloe. Not like loads, don't worry. I didn't like base her off Chloe. It was just the way that she... Everyone has their way of making Sims. And my Sims tend to be kind of similar. So she does have like a little bit of a likeness to Chloe. But I didn't base her off her or anything like that. So please don't make it weird, guys. Please don't be like, oh, he's only dating her because she looks like Chloe. Uh, <laughs> that is totally not it. It's just that that's the way that I make Sims. She's definitely got way more of like a button nose and she has like hazel eyes. She doesn't look too much like her, to be honest. But I was just like, if you see a similarity, Sims looking for love are in the right place. It's singles night. Oh, we are not uh, single, but we can get flirty. We are flirty. So that means that we can, uh, that means that we can get free drinks. Uh, we're going to order a singles night drink and we're going to go for a dim and gusty. Let's grab a drink. She has a root beer float. What a little cutie. She's like not even drinking alcohol. I suppose she is a doctor though, so probably doesn't want to. Uh, we're going to be enticing and we're going to flirt with her a little bit. We can like pretend that we're on a singles night, but really these two know that they're in a relationship with each other. But we're going to just use the offer for free drinks. Did she just steal my drink? Did you just steal my dim and gusty? No, that's a sweet and spicy. Order a drink. Get a dim and gusty. And oh, we can passionate kiss her. Um, express our fondness. Oh, these two are so cute. I love it. I love it. We're gonna ask a risque question. So yeah, we're just pretending that we're single. We're like pretending that we're. This is our first night hitting on her, even though they are in a pretty dedicated relationship. There we go. We got our drink, which is cool. Um, let's passionate kiss her. Let's go for it. Oh, he's flattered. That is so cute. Here we go. My goodness, she almost whacked her head off the bar. <laughs> Um, let's kiss her hands. They are so cute together. I actually love them. They're adorable. And I hate it. But it's so cute. <sighs> Couples in love, hey. This singles night's going well for them, though. Even though they aren't single. <laughs> um, right, let's go play with... Um, oh, we can't play with her. <laughs> play together? Is that gonna work? Are you gonna go play together? Are you gonna join us? Oh yeah, she is. And uh, Dominic is here with us. She might not actually. Is she going to? Yeah, she is. Okay, that's cool. Oh, Jared, don't get cocky, mate. Do not get cocky. She should be good at this. She is a doctor. She should have like steady hands. Come on, Dominic, fail. Yes! <laughs> My Sims won! Woohoo! Oh man, I feel bad. I feel as if I uh, like made Dominic screw that one up. He's feeling so flirty. Uh, play together again. I want to see who wins again. Oh, is it just us two? Oh, it's on. It is on like Donkey Kong. Let's do it. Let's see. Place your bets now, guys. I want you, I'm going to pause it right now. I want you to comment down below, right at this point of the video, who you think is going to win this game of whatever this is called. Something Llama. Shrieking Llama? I don't know. Um, but yeah, comment now. I want to see your comments of who you think is going to win this game. If I don't see those comments... I'm going to stop making young'uns. No, no. I'm kidding. I won't stop making young'uns. But, um, yeah, I want to see those comments. I want to see who you guys think is going to win. She's a doctor. He's an athlete. They both should have steady hands. The game is on. Who's going to win? I don't know. She's getting cocky. Oh, but she did it. She managed to do it. Oh, Jared! Oh, Jared, you lose, boy! <laughs> Great. Oh, he's really competitive as well, so uh, he's not very happy that he, he lost. He's getting cocky, though, again. Boy, you just lost. You don't want to be getting cocky right now. Not against the doctor. <laughs> uh, we're going to also compliment her appearance. Uh, 
Yes, we're gonna, um... They're both so competitive. I can't believe how well they get on. So basically what I did is, um... I did do a cheat to get their relationships up. Obviously, I wanted to be at this point in their relationship when I rec was recording. Oh, Jared, you lose again. She's so happy. She's like, I just won against an athlete. So cute. So, so sweet. Even Jared's laughing, though. Like, that's adorable. Like, he's like, fair. You win this one, honey. You win this one. But yeah, I am... Um, basically cheated it so i didn't know how they were gonna get on with each other because i hadn't really played as them and i played with them a tiny tiny bit before i started recording because i played a day off screen and they just got on so well like instantly just like clicked it was adorable but what i'm gonna do is end this part here guys because it has been pretty long so i'm gonna end it right here look at how like smitten he looks i've never seen jared look so smitten but yeah i'm gonna end this part here guys so thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this part of young guns i will try and start uploading it a lot more frequently basically um what I'm going to try and do from now on is try my best to upload two videos a day, whether it be like Oxenfree I think is almost over, but I do want to play other games and then if I don't have another game, I'll have two Sims videos up. So I want to try and start doing two videos a day. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, it just depends what I'm doing on the day and things like that. But this is my promise to you that I'm going to try and get Younguns uploaded more frequently because I know it's been forever. And that's just because I haven't really found a bit to play. But I really wanted to explore this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you guys could show your support. This has been going for so many parts now. And if you're still here, then please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Because it lets me know that you are still liking it and do still want to see this series so thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and i will speak to you all in my next video bye guys